Hello, Positive Readers. It's Positive Writer today with another video. And today, I'm going to be unboxing an ARC box sent to me by Penguin Teen of The Electric Kingdom by David Arnold. This box was sent to me, like I said, by Penguin Teen, so thank you very much for sending me this box. Um, and I'm going to be opening it today. The book is inside, I'm pretty sure. And I will send this in exchange for an honest review, and I will be giving that. But right now, you're just going to see me opening this box. I'm very excited. So while I'm opening it, I will just be telling you guys what the book is about and stuff like that. The full description will be in the description um, because I don't want to butcher the actual summary of it, but I wanted to paraphrase because I know sometimes blurbs are like lost on a lot of people. So basically this book is about three main characters because basically a fly flu has now swept across the globe and has killed so many people and the world is completely different now and now we're following these three characters and one is named Nico and she has a dog. And she's finding she's trying to find a mythical portal, which actually sounds amazing. Uh, and then there's a young artist named Kit, and also someone named someone called the Deliverer, who is trying to put the world back together. We're following these two characters, and it's like a, po a post-apocalyptic New England type of vibe, and I think it's going to be amazing, especially because it's uh, one of the last thing. The last thing that the blurb says is it's a testament to the notion that even in an exterminated world, one person might find beauty in another, and I think that is absolutely beautiful, um, especially with these things that we're living with right now in the world today. And so I think this book is timely. I think it's amazing, and I'm so honored to have been reached out to to receive this box and to review this book because I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot. The book comes out on February 9th um, this year, 2021. And I'm really, really excited uh, to read it. And I'm still trying to open this box, sorry. But yes, I'm very excited to read it. And like I said, I'm very honored to have received it. I have not done an unboxing on this channel in so long. But one thing that you guys can definitely look forward to on this channel is a lot more unboxings and a lot more reviews slash book chats because I requested so many books on NetGalley that are coming out this year and I got every single one of them I think and so I've just been I'm going to be reading all those and you're going to get to see the reviews I don't I'll combine some of them so I won't depends but you'll get to see my thoughts and everything on those and so I just I did a poll on my channel uh not too long ago asking what content you guys wanted to see and book chats is winning so I will definitely be coming out with some more book chats and some more recommendations as I read some more and add more to some lists and stuff. So anyway, this new year has a lot more content for us, for you guys in store. So this is the box and I am now opening it. So you see this before I see it. Um, this is what is right at the top um, of everything. As you can see, it is the book, which is amazing looking. The cover is probably my favorite thing about it. I really adore um, I really have a thing for soft covers now. Like, I used to not like them, but now I think that they were nice, especially for certain types of books. So I think this is amazing. I love receiving art. It just makes me feel like such a booktuber, you know? And so I really love this, and I'm really glad I received it. It's a beautiful book, and I will definitely be reading this very soon. I'll probably put it right here. Um, technically, this is my favorite shelf, but just so it can be at eye level, and so I can, like, remind myself to read it. Because I'm reading. I'm in the middle of, like, 30 books right now. But, um, yes. So I'm excited to pick this up. It really just sounds amazing, and I really have been getting into a lot of apocalyptic type stuff because of the world right now. Kind of helps me to escape. The words are big. I think I'm going to fly through this, and I can hardly wait. I'm going to put that right there. Uh, as far as the rest of the stuff in the box, we have ice cream, which it says ice cream for an adventure. Freeze, dried, and ready to eat anywhere on the planet. Crunchy and creamy snack with zero artificial ingredients and no refrigeration needed. So, it's ice cream. It's called Cosmic Ice Cream. Cookies and cream, which I love cookies and cream. I'm not sure, like, freeze-dried. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to eat this. <laughs> I will eat it, and I mean, um, if you know what this is, please tell me. I'll probably try and eat it today. And, um, I might show you guys just so you see what this is. <laughs> It's kind of good. <laughs> it's just like ice cream, but it's not really cold, but it still tastes like ice cream. It's good. That's it's good. Cool. 
Can I have a gin? <laughs> and as you saw, there are three Trident gums in here. Three pep peppermint. Wow. Cinnamon Trident gums. And I have a need for gum at all times. And so I'm definitely going to put this on my desk and be consuming the gum. Not consuming. You know what I mean. And then we have a flashlight, which needs batteries. But I love flashlights. Um, simply because they're a necessity to have, and so I love adding them, to, adding more to my collection, and we do need batteries in this baby, but I have batteries, and I will be definitely using this, so, wait, I don't know which batteries this takes, though, AAA, hopefully I have AAA, I'm not sure, but, yeah, that is amazing, I love that they gave me a, a flashlight, that makes me happy. Um, and then, um, we have a fly swatter because it's a fly flu, <laughs> which I think is amazing and great because I don't have a fly swatter. So now, if I need to swat some flies, hopefully not ones any, any with flus in them, I will definitely be using this. So that really honestly brought me a lot of joy. I don't get a lot of book boxes, like I said, simply because I don't pay for them anymore, because I don't read a lot of the books that are put into them now. Um, and I like to be more, I don't know, flexible with my reading schedule. But I love to receive art, and it means a lot to me that Penguin Tune sent me to this, sent me this, um, and you will be hearing all about my thoughts about the book, hopefully watch me eat the ice cream, and, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you put this book on your TBR, because it's definitely on mine, and I will definitely be sharing with you all my thoughts about it. And I want to hear you guys' thoughts, too. So, if you're going to read this, tell me in the comments. And if you just find it interesting, tell me in the comments. If you're excited for my review, tell me in the comments. I will talk to you guys later with another video. Can't wait to start reading this. Bye.